Hi guys, so, oh wow, jazz hands. Um, hi, so welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't watched the previous video that i done about the update of like everything about my life right now, um, go watch that. And then come back to this video and make sure to watch. So I'm just doing this sweet, nice look for you today. So we eye, we we lip, we everything. And I just really hope you enjoy. So we'll see you at the end of the video till I show you how it's done. Okay, bye. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've zoomed you in quite a lot here. Um, I'm trying not to move too much because the camera doesn't focus very well. I have to do like, you'll hear a noise like, Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beather Hills Dip Brown in chocolate, and then I'm also going to be using the Freedom. Um, this is a bit barred, as you can see inside. Uh, this is in the shade Ebony. So first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to take here. I'm not prepared. Everything's kind of just sitting all over the show here. So I'm just going to take a wee spilly brush and I'm just going to brush out. My brows, I did tint these bad boys the other day. I think it was just with the eyelure stuff. Um, obviously, they need done. No, I'm very bad at keeping up with that. I, no, actually, I'm gonna zoom you out a bit. One second, here we go. So, um, a tip that I don't know well, obviously, it's not. I mean, it might be something that everyone actually already knows, but and it might actually not be good for your skin, but who knows? But anyway, the way I do my eyebrows is I do pluck them. I never really don't really get them done because I do not have the time or the money to just go and pay someone to do my eyebrows. So I pay minimal price for Nair hair removal cream and I basically just take it on a cotton, what's called cotton, cotton, cotton something, cotton pad, no, cotton, cotton stick, ear, I don't, the ear thing we things you put in your ear, right? And I just kind of map round with Nair, round my eyebrows, and um, then I just like, wipe it off, and then they're looking great. I might actually do a video on that. If anyone wants to see me do my Nair routine, and I actually do dye my eyebrows with men's beard dye. So, you know, if, if you'd like to see that, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment um, and I'll be sure to get into that but let's get back into what I'm actually filming. Okay, so what we're going to do is, let me get my eyebrow brush out. Oh, it's a really tiny um, eyebrow brush that I use. It's from a W7 eyebrow kit but it's actually really good eyebrow brush. It's very precise. This is just it here but it's also very small as you can see. Um, this stuff in here, which is obviously the point. Um, so usually like I know like sometimes it can dry up a bit so I usually put a bit of primer water in it or you can use Duraline but I don't have Duraline at the minute but it's actually very good um, in lot but I just don't have any at the minute so so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw a strength line beneath so just start halfway on the brow right I'm going to bring down to the edge make a wee tail like so and I'm going to do a top line and connecting that and then I'm gonna make a wee strength line with the rest of the product on the brush so that's kind of what, what the idea you're going for right so and then I'm gonna fill it out towards the end now you're not gonna bring this line forward if you, like I like to have a fade on my eyebrow so I don't bring this line forward I just kind of leave that there. So getting your spilly then, I just kind of push the product forward. Um, so it kind of just gives more natural vibe. And don't worry if it looks a bit messy because you can obviously fill it, uh, fix it with some fancy law. So that's the kind of idea we've got going here. So obviously, if you want it to be darker, you can add more. And then buff it out again like so but that's kind of the idea i'm going for here and then i'm going to take some of the freedom some of this and i'm just going to basically um darken the ends of my eyebrow because obviously i like it to be darker in the front now you may be like um hello 
hello like honestly what the heck are you doing but i've always had dark eyebrows like i'm like i'm naturally brown so you know i've always had dark eyebrows and i just can't really see myself going any lighter so next we're gonna go in with some concealer this is the Revolution Concealer in C.5, so this is like the lightest concealer that they have at the minute, which is great. So I'm going to take some all just like a flat brush here, and I'm going to kind of put it on the brush, and I'm going to carve out the eyebrow. Now, if you want kind of this this teal, if you like that to kind of be a bit sharper, some people do go in with the concealer again, and like they like the highlighted look around the eyebrows. Um, I do that sometimes, but it's not really what I do very often, you know. Now, to kind of just fix in the end of the eyebrow, if you want to, I am going to use a foundation just to kind of like it'll be the color that I'd use to do my whole face, and I then just fill that then out. So I'm going to use the Revolution um, Conceal and Define in, well, it's not down there, um, F10. So I'm basically just gonna put one wee dot um, here. So I'm just gonna show you the difference in my eyebrows. This is kind of the situation we've got going on here. You can see my, my, my eyebrows are really sparse as well so it's like they're oddly shaped and everything like that and one thing you'll notice when I do this eye this eyebrow is that it's gonna be like this one has no arch but this one does it's weird it's really weird but your eyebrows are si twin no your eyebrows are sisters not twins but hey oh there you go so this is the situation we've got going on the eyebrows now that I finished this one as you can see um this one kind of <laughs> This one raises and I don't know how I do it, but I can't I can't not raise it. So next I'm gonna go on and do the eyes. So now you're gonna go in with that same revolution concealer and I'm just gonna apply that all over my eyes. One thing I'd say about this concealer is it's, it's I think it's a bit drying. No, I don't know what that's like for everyone else, but personally, I think it's just a bit drying. And then all I'm going to do now is just kind of set my eyelids. I'm going to set these with the MUA, MUA Define and Hydro thing. It's just in translucent, I think, or it's not this all over my eye just to set it. Make sure we've got a nice smooth base so the eyeshadows can go on nice. Um, smoothly without any patches. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go in now with a transition color, the LMD Master Palette. Um, this is by Louise Mc. Oh, be oh, this is by Louise McDonald and Be Perfect Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in the sh with the. Sh oh, I'm gonna go in with the shade Prinny, as you can see, I've used quite a lot. So I'm just gonna go in on um a wee fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna buff that color into my eye. go in with another color from the LMB palette and I'm going to go in with cocoa cocoa yeah I'm going in with that cocoa shade I'm just going to go out into the outer corner of my eye so I'm just going to build that color up so now I'm going to go in to the Carnival palette might be for, be perfect. Now, if you do not know what this part of the palette pal oh, well. what just happened? Okay, so just back from the little break from the light just dying on me there. So we're still going in with that cocoa color. Just you know, making it the right um, depth for you. Like if you don't want to go too dark, you don't have to. If you do not know what the Carnival palette is, go and watch Jeffree Star's video with Mama Mitchell, okay? This palette is honestly, let me just show you. If I just look at all of these colors, 
like it's just amazing quite frankly it's just amazing so I am going to use a packer brush I'm going to go in with the shade Keen in this palette ooh, ooh, ooh. this shade here I'm basically going to take it from my inner corner out and kind of up like that and you'll see that it's actually very pigmented so we're just going to go and just basically kind of bring it up like so like it's very very pigmented and even just bringing it up a bit now you don't want to go too crazy but I'm kind of just like you see how I'm just kind of bringing that in <laughs> You're always going to want to have the brush used for your transition shade at hand because it's very handy and just make sure that everything is just seaming together. We're going to go in with a deeper colour. I'm going to go in with the Carnival palette again. So I'm just going to go in with this colour called Rowdy. I'm going to put a colour right in the middle here and I'm going to go with this colour Hush and I'm going to go on that. Um, in the middle of my eyelid to kind of give like a spotlight effect so I'm just going to go in with that on my finger like so it's going to go pretty much everywhere but we'll fix that don't you worry I'm just going to kind of blend that into the yellow and then I'm going to get the brush that I used to use the yellow and just kind of blend that in so then now we're going to go in with a kind of glitter shade and I'm going to use this collection um, this one is in Dazzling Gel is it? oh it's in Cosmic Stars so this is £3 and it's honestly great so I'm just going to kind of place this in the inner corner to then build up into the glitter that we've already got down so I'm just going to pat that down like so so we're kind of, I'm going to kind of put it all up into the yellow and then I'm going to put that on top of the hush as well. We're then going to go in with some eyeliner. So I use the um, Makeup Gallery which is from Poundland believe it or not. Now I love this eyeliner because it dries really quickly and it's honestly very black and for a pound I think it's great. Um, I've been using it for I don't know how long. It's the only eyeliner I will use so I'm just going to um, put a line um, just from the start to the end to begin with. Then we're going to start to flick. So I'm just going to build up like that. And then we're going to connect it from here to here. So I'm going to put a bit of mascara on now, it's the Volume Mascara by Natural Collection, just like this for just a wee bit of a base before putting any lashes on. Do that and then I'll put on some lashes and I'll be right back with this eye done as well. Okay, so that is now both eyes done and I'm going to move on to the face. Okay, so now that we have the eyes done, I'm going to go on to the face. Now I don't normally use primer, um, I've never really used primer. Um, I've just gone straight in with the foundation, so I'm just going to use the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define concealer. Now I think I feel like you have to use this thing in bits, like you can't put it all over your face. I think it has really good coverage, but that's my downfall. It dries very fast, so I'm just going to start here. Now this is a bit darker than my actual skin tone, but it's because I would usually normally wear this colour if I was going out. So I'm going to dump the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to dab it out. I always find that this foundation smells really strange. Do you know what it smells of? I literally cannot pinpoint what it smells like. Mm. Can't pinpoint what it smells like, but yeah, it smells odd. So anyway, once we got that done, then I'm gonna go into concealer. Now we're gonna use that concealer that we use. I'm 
this is a new light. I'm getting very angry. So I'm gonna go in with that concealer again under my eyes. No, I will put it along because this is obviously very bright. So I'm just gonna put a wee dimple. And then go in the blue 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 I'm just gonna put eyes all um under my eyes. Oh my god. So once that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with that powder again. I'm just gonna powder the fudge out of my face. So after that's all done, I'm going to go into the LMD palette again, and I'm going to go in with contour brush, and I'm going to go into this middle, I don't know, um, shade and just start chiseling them cheeks because boy knows I've got a big ass face. Um, I'm just kind of Oh, oh yeah. Uh, this is giving that wee chisel. Yeah, and then obviously those big bad boy chins. Of course we can't miss them. Now, as you can see, I already told you that I'd usually wear this with tan, so obviously not looking the best with that, but hey ho, there you go. Uh, oh, <laughs> what do we do? So I'm going to use the bronzer in matte bronze and I'm just going to take it on a big brush and just kind of give myself a wee bronze, you know, a wee bit of a glow. Now in this light, obviously this highlight looks a bit, but it, it is the light, I promise you. I promise you it's the light. Um, but I like having my under eyes nice and brightened anyway, so there we are. Now, my favourite part, we are going to go in with some highlight on. So, first of all, I'm going to spray it with some primer water. This is the PS I Love You from Prima for a true pound. Uh -huh. So, I'm just going to... Done. And, ooh, wet. Now, I'm going to go in with the, <laughs> the Jeffree Star um, Severian Gold. Look at that, oh my god, right, okay. So I'm just gonna go in, get a nice wee bit on the brush, and we're just gonna go in. I don't even know if you can see that, can you see that? I can't even see. Maybe I'll look at Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why did I make that face? Who knows? On the nose, on the lip, on the chin, a bit on the temple. And I also want to go in, because I'm that bougie, with the colour Loyal in the LMD palette. I'm just going to take me because it's quite pink. My tits! Okay, so our last few steps for this makeup look is to do my under eyes and the rule always is what goes up must come down. So you're just basically going to do the same thing that you did in your top lip and bottom lip. Lip, lip. Okay, we have, we have lips in our eyes now. Um, um, lids, but just excluding the glitter. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do that. Like what I think would be nice with this um, look is actually like a white eyeliner. I don't have one at the minute, but it would be really nice if you had a wee white eyeliner, which would totally brighten up your eyes. So I'm gonna do a bit of mascara on my bottom line and then do my lips. Okay, and then for my lips, I am just going to take, take the MAC. Ooh, ooh. I'm just not gonna see that. I'm We're just going to take the MAC Whirl and I'm just going to put this on my lips. Um, I don't usually line my lips, but I don't know if you would like, but I don't usually. So I'm just going to whack this on. So this is the finished look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was very fun to film and I loved filming it and I'm excited to get back into it. So 
I really hope you enjoy and stay tuned for more videos and do not forget, do not forget, if you enjoyed any part of this video please hit that subscribe button because I hope you want to see more and of course leave a wee like, if you want a wee comment, a wee suggest, anything you want guys, honestly, anything. No hate though because I might cry. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, but anyway, um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.